it's time to solve our last episode's challenge. Uh, Tweaks is here to help walk us through it. Uh, let's see if you got it right and let's explore what else is on here as well. So our challenge question had you go to this website, which we're sharing with you right now. Um, it's the more secrets page, uh, particularly. So let's go there now. If you're not there, you can go check it out. You can walk through it with us. So Thomas, uh, you're going to share where, where do we go from here? We're here and how do we solve it? Well, first thing I do when I'm looking for something, um, is, uh, just look at the web page. um, say maybe control a and, and highlight everything. See if there's any hidden, hidden, hidden contact, con, any mm. text, if that doesn't look weird, then I just jump right into the page source. So uh, for windows and, and Linux, that's a uh, control U for display source. And uh, what's the, what is on, on Mac channel? Uh, command option U. Command option U. There Here we go. are. Page so source. The source code of the, the actual, code. Yep. Yep, of the web page. Um, so, um, if you don't know much about HTML, highly recommend this is mostly CSS we're looking at here, which is within the HTML, but further down, you see the HTML, um, um, uh, the tags, yeah, the various content tags. on the page. Yeah. And so the stuff that's, um, bright colored is the stuff that's uh, being rendered and the darker colored, you'll see a green section there. That's a, that's a comment you know, that starts with a, left bracket exclamation dash dash and then everything between that and the dash dash right bracket yeah. uh, r- r- greater than not bracket um, uh, is considered a comment and it is not being rendered so those are kind of hidden pieces of text so you'll see when there's one there it says dot dot hidden html and you can go navigate yeah. that um, or there's there's also further down there's a hidden image called album cover it looks like so we so could if try you, both of those yeah, you could take that yeah and a Append it. Yep, copy it and go back to your web page. We're gonna go back to your web page. Just yeah, paste it and see what you get. Boom. Ooh. Oh dang. Cool. <laughs> There's a lot to take in there. Yes. So, looks so like an album an album cover of some type. Uh, part LP. of the challenge was to see what Secret Squirrel uh I guess wants to do next with its life. <laughs> Yeah, it's, 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 it says uh, Secret Squirrel is considering a c- new career, but he's keeping it secret. There's a flag double hidden somewhere. On so this, uh, on I see so, some, so, so we, we've, some the, the text first we thing, can't read. <laughs> yeah, the first hidden thing was that this, this thing was hidden in the HTML, but yeah, you were commenting, Jen? Yeah, so that, that was step one, you're right. And then uh, step two, I wonder what's here hidden. And that kind of looks like to me some Morse code. Definitely. Dot, dash, yep. dot, dash. So um, I've already taken this, so you can't really copy it, right? Yeah. It's, it's just an image here. Take some manual manipulation here. Yeah, you're going to manually type. So I actually already manually typed it out. Cool. And I'm, uh, it, what would be helpful to figure this out then, Thomas? What well, would I do? would, um, not knowing better, I would just go to Google and say, um, I need a Morse code translator. So I don't know. Tra- and there's, there's tons out there, Google not endorsing this one, but yep. there's a lot going on. So oh, morsecoder.com. There you go. There you go. Paste. Yep. Paste in your Morse code. Oh, there. Look at that. It's readable. Do, do, do. Greatest hits volume one would be the answer. That's the answer. Yeah. So it was doubly yep. hidden behind cool. the so that, so, so pages. It, just in doing that, you learn a little bit about HTML and how that works and, um, and how to do. And, and, and what we did just there with, with the Morse code portion, um, whenever you use the web to go research something, the fancy term for that is OSN, to open source intelligence. And so we use the web to go go take something we didn't know and find out what the answer was. So. Which is appropriate because uh, this yeah. week's challenge... Well, the, the, the challenge that's currently live <laughs> while we're filling this is about OSINT. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, so hopefully that helped, got people thinking more about using the internet, which we did talk about in our first episode is that's OSINT, uh, using the tools. So let's, let's look at what other things are on this webpage. I know there's other challenges on here that are hidden just for fun um, if some of you guys want to check it out. So... I know this is the main page. Oh, yeah, Secret Squirrel. Yeah, and one of the things I think you mentioned was 
uh, highlighting the whole page. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. There, so there's another secret message down there. There was another secret message here at the bottom. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Um, I forget, was there something else hidden in this uh as well? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this was this there? was the, the source the page source, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, well, oh, this was that, also yeah. available there. You could see the plain text is in if you couldn't see it before, you can see it now. <laughs> Yep. Um, oh, was it the hidden HTML? I guess we could have used that. Yeah, we, could. we didn't uh, do that I, yet. I don't. I'm not sure what that one actually reveals. Um, a, a lot of times, too, people will hide things from Google, so you can't even find them um, using Google by using what's called a robots file. Oh yeah, that one didn't work. Oh yeah, we could do robots, and, it, and that's always robots.txt. So just like you see index.html, you'll often see robots.txt file, which tells the Google search engine and other search engines where to go and where not to go on a website. Yeah, go ahead and hit that. So there Ooh. you go, right there. It's saying all the user agents don't cert don't spider through my secrets directory. So we oh. have secrets directory now to the website. Oops, I have yeah. two slashes. That might be problematic. That'll work. <gasps> oh, flag. there's a flag. Look at that. So Where are the secret. robots? <laughs> there you go. So in, in one of our CTF competitions, this would be an answer for uh, one of our, our one, of, one, one of the flags for one of our challenges. Yeah, uh, I think challenges. it's helpful to, to go through it because, you know, to get people used to what different flags look like as well sure. for different challenges. Um, we did that one. I know there's stuff on here too. Think there is but i'm panicking because i'm not sure where it is so, so the description on this one is find the flag on secret squirrels under construction page mm. let me just organize stuff here so we got to find the flag oh <gasps> did i just find it okay flag sometimes flags are hidden air there you are go. in html comments there you go <laughs> so yeah, you, you can see how useful looking at source is. I mean, you can really see what's going on. A lot of times we'd get hackers, uh, Russian hackers would uh, scan our systems for comments. Sometimes developers put passwords and stuff that they shouldn't actually in the HTML source code or references to their, to their GitHub, uh, to their Git repositories. And it's just bad, you know, you know all, it's, it's like people's, you know, developers, you know, secret dumping ground of, all the stuff they want to hold on to and and they don't think you know maybe i shouldn't put this in this in the pages source code <laughs> well i mean it's one key thing to think about you know when securing uh different things like a web page is another thing that needs to be secured yep yeah so I, mean, if, I guess yeah you should really probably just purge all comments when you when you publish your web content just sanitize it first or run it through a uh, what's called a lint checker to to check for bad stuff. A lint but checker. Lint lint checker. So it's a, when you whenever all languages have lint checkers where it'll go through and 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 apply best practices to your code, saying you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't do this, this is a bad way of doing this, or you know you should remove comments. You know it does all that stuff for you. So. Well, that's awesome. I learned some new things. Um, yeah. Thanks again, Thomas, for being sure, here with us yeah. and for That's helping us solve the challenge. And tune in next episode for another new challenge. Mm -hmm. Cool.